Well, hello, world. Thought I would show you my uh, my little carrot patch here. Uh, it's indoor, obviously, uh, but it's been ravaged by aphids for I don't know how many times it's been since. Uh, how many times have they've done this now? But, yeah, they, I knock them back, and then a couple months later, all of a sudden, boom! They've snuck up on me. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I've been controlling them. Um, which is pretty simple and pretty cheap and uh, not too uh, chemically intensive. So uh, first thing I do is I mechanically or physically crush them and I crush them and I crush them while being gentle on the plant and I just crush them and I crush them and I get crushed and I crush them and I crush them. And this, this probably kills quite a few of them. I have never you know, counted how many I've killed and saw how many were there the next day, but I've killed a lot of them like this. And it works okay, I think. So you keep crushing, and you crush them, and you crush them, and you decimate, you decimate the mature population if possible. And you crush them, and you crush them, and you crush them. They like to congregate on new foliage, so keep an eye out for that. You crush them. And the plant will recover from this, or at least these ones have these carrots here. That's all. Imagine I've gone and I've crushed all of them that I can see, and they're wounded. There's a nice big patch right here. Now I take, oh, that's, that's goo right there, honeydew, honeydew and aphid parts. <laughs> but, so I take like a regular spray bottle, and I fill it with like a dime size thing of, a dot of, um, dish detergent, and then just use simple detergent, um, doesn't have to be fancy, um, preferably without smelly stuff though, uh, and then you just, you spray them, spray them, ah, you spray them, and you spray them good, all parts of the leaf surface, shabang, dang, 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 Spray them after you crush them. And this puts some sort of thing on the surface of the plant tissue that the aphids apparently don't like to uh, touch or eat or something or other. And you usually throw some on the soil too. Not sure if that helps. Uh, but spray the cannolis out of them so they're like dripping wet. All parts of the uh, plants. And uh, this usually knocks them back pretty good until uh, I can get my hands on a couple lady ladybird beetles, or ladybugs, and uh, or larvae is even better because the larvae eat more than the actual adult ladybird beetles. But some of those bring a couple in. You only need a couple for a garden this size, and they will wipe out the aphid populations in a couple days. So much so that there'll be no aphids left, and the la the larvae will die because there's no food. Um, which is kind of nice, then you avoid two pests, well, one pest through the death of another pest. It uh, works pretty good. So that's my little uh, aphid control tip. Simple, cheap, and uh, fairly effective. And I'll do this about once every week or every other week uh, while the populations are high until I get my hands on those ladybird larvae. Alright, best